All right, what we got here is a Hughes and Kedner Access Tube Preamp made somewhere in the late 80s to early 90s. And uh, I saw this in a pawn shop and it just blew me away with the LED indicators. I'd never seen anything like that. And also um, on the back, it has uh, multiple, it has three effects loops, full MIDI implementation. It's got line outs as well as recording outs. And it's also got, got a denoiser button on the right hand side. You'll see here in a second. And it was such a rare looking cool unit that I had to get it, even though it didn't work at the pawn shop. <laughs> Luckily, my buddy at a repair shop fixed it for me. I was just excited to, get to hear it. I wanted to hear what it sounded like. And uh, there you can see inside it's run on, it runs on two 12AX7 preamp tubes and just built like a tank. It's beautiful on the inside as well as the outside. And um, I didn't have anything that, that could do metal tones in my rig. So I decided to, uh, I was really excited about getting this and hoping it could fit the bill. And man, I was really impressed. It has a plenty of crunch on tap. It just sounds beefy and thick and it's pretty versatile, believe it or not. But I, I like it for its heavy tones, you know. Um, today I'm recording and I'm running it into the effects return of JCN 900 high gain dual reverb 4100 head and using the preamp entirely for all the tones. Uh, that is running into a 1960 Marshall cab loaded with 25 watt Celestian greenbacks and it's being mic'd with an SM57 microphone. Without further ado, let's get to the demo. Before we get started, let me tell you about the guitar real quick. This is a 1981 Gibson Les Paul Standard. Uh, the bridge pickup is a mid-60s patent sticker Gibson pickup. Uh, the neck pickup is a uh, 500T Gibson pickup. And uh, all right, let's get started with some clean sounds. <laughs> Middle position. And then neck position. I got the 500T neck uh, pickup backed off a little bit because it's just imbalanced when it's clean. But uh, all right. Let's check out a little bit of reverb and echo. Neck pickup. Let's check out the uh, second gain. Uh, it's called Tube One. It's kind of the mid grade gain channel. Bridge pickup. Add a little bit of reverb and echo. Neck pickup. Back to bridge. All right, and uh, last but not least, let's check out the high gain setting on this bad boy. It's called Tube Two, and it's a uh, it's pretty brutal actually. So check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Add a little bit of reverb and echo. reverb off. Let's try tuning down a little bit. Uh, I'm going to turn it down a little bit and go through the e equalizer so you can kind of see what's going on. The gain isn't even fully up. Let's go with the gain first. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check out the gain and drop it down to nothing. No gain. And go up. It's about halfway up. Go up from there. Let's go up to full blast. it off a little bit okay now let's go to the uh, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit because the bass gets kind of all right here we go bass all the way out bass all the way up
back down a little bit. All right, let's uh, do the same thing with mids. Mids, mids all the way out. Let's try mids all the way up. Next up, we got uh, treble all the way out. All the way up. Finally, we got presence here. Got these two switches mid boost and treble boost let's both of them off right now mid boost on now just the treble boost on Both of them on now. There she is i hope you guys enjoyed um a quick look at this preamp they're kind of rare so if you spot one out there and it's fairly priced i would snatch it up it's pretty heavy and uh kind of ahead of its time it's got a lot of features all right i'll catch you guys next time peace <laughs>